Welcome to the MEC CGI with C++ tutorials. This is the intro and I'm gonna try to explain what I'm gonna accomplish with this. So I'm a developer which uh, loves to get creative on itself or maybe do some stuff that I think it's exciting. I hope you enjoy it too. So what is this actually? This is actually uh, something I came up with. So there is some stuff like MEC. It's a pattern. It's really, really worldwide, well known. In my opinion, a very, very powerful design pattern. CGI is the common gate interface, which I'm gonna uh, address in a few minutes. This is actually a technology that I am going to use and there's C++. So you could actually say, okay, there are ASP.NET's MEC patterns, which is actually easy to use and I recommend that one. And you could actually do it on PHP 2, the CMVC, whole stuff like that. But I prefer to use C++ because I'm a low level developer and maybe you are programming a microcontroller. I on my own have Raspberry Pi, Bigglebone, I put the link in the description and there are there are no ASP.NET or PHP technologies involved in that, maybe there are Linux uh, stuff, you could actually use an operating system, but I'm not doing it on my own, so I came up with this idea, I'm gonna make it hopefully make it on my computer, on my PC. And when I'm done, I could actually port this project to uh, my BeagleBone or Raspberry Pi. And it's kind of efficient on electricity and it's kind of efficient in its compact size. And I think of such an application of this program. So I'm gonna develop it on Windows. So, and First of all, I apologize for my errors on, uh, because I'm not a native English speaker, so that could annoy you. I apologize for that. So let's get uh, a little bit deeper in this project. So we have this MEC pattern. This is uh, a Google search actually. So there is our model, there is our controller, the view and the user. So we as a user, uh, we don't notice a difference between this MVC pattern or a normal website or another pattern because it's not that this is for the user, it's more for the developer. With this pattern you get really better overview of the whole site over, whole, over the whole project. It's kind of gets to that idea to divide and conquer, that's really, really helpful in this case because you're not creating a bunch of files which are really, really not original on its names because I know I'm developing it on myself too and it's, it's really hard to keep track of what are you doing, what was that for, why is there another file like index.php. So this here actually has a pattern. It says, okay, we're gonna build a structure. It's gonna be a little bit simpler, hopefully. And it it has really that, that power which is called actually to OOP, object-oriented programming. That's really, really good. Cause website consists of uh, pieces that repeat all the time. So it's a good idea to use this one. So the main thing the user sees is this view. That's actually the HTML code. And the controller is our logic, which we want to do. Okay, is the user um, logging in? Is a new user signing in? Or what else you want to do with your site? And this model is actually data. Data that is the user data that's it could be a data type or a class. It's going to be eventually a class, actually. So that's really 
the whole thing. Let's get to the CGI idea. Let me just close that one. The CGI, or better known, Common Gateway Interface, it's a technology. So I looked up on Wikipedia, because that's what I'm do, doing with all that stuff that I'm not knowing so well. It's a standard method to use generate dynamic content on web page. So that means actually you could use another technology, PHP, which is probably better for you because this project is a little bit a special case, but it's really fun to use C on a web browser because I had software, um, I did learn software in the university, so they teach us every time C, they start every time on C because it's a simple language and it's so powerful. So why not using it in, on a web server? So, and this is the technology that allows us to do that. And it provides an interface between the web server and the programs that generate the web content. And there's actually really, really useful stuff on Wikipedia. It really explains well, well, I'm not good at explaining things so look up here you might want to read this website so usually it's used with Perl but I'm gonna use C because I really don't know Perl and I don't think I have to do that why am I using Perl when I can go go ahead and use maybe PHP which is simpler than CGI so here is a really helpful list because I'm gonna read this property. This is actually uh, accomplished with get environment. You can get the path, the path text, the query string, which is very, very useful for me to keep track of this URL here. And maybe we could uh, use some other stuff, but I really, really use only this query string uh, property. And well, Hopefully you enjoy my episodes about this. There it says there are uh, C++ libraries, but as always, I'm not using a library. I'm not really into using libraries when I have to, unless I have to use some, some of that stuff, because it's really not portable or it, it is really tough to port some library to another platform. I once in a while did use STL and that was really really annoying. I didn't want it to uh, actually use the whole stuff. The problem with C, C++ in my opinion, uh, it could be wrong, but uh, it's really really powerful, but the lack of the libraries or maybe the portability of the libraries, that's a really big issue. Sometimes you have to do really complex things to accomplish a really simple task so maybe it's an overload of work maybe you don't want to do it so hopefully what I'm aiming in this episodes is I want to learn actually I can do that but I didn't try it before so it's you're gonna follow me and move along with this episodes and I'm gonna make mistakes fix them because the development cycle is actually a problem-solving stage you have to solve every problem you have to get into it really understand what's going on and you are gonna get errors that's that's the real thing here you're gonna get errors and the more you solve errors the better you learn that and that's how I learned it, even with English. So, uh, hope you enjoy this episode. This uh, was actually the introduction, and see you next day, next time.